Okay, so now the drawing is ready because it's um, traced in vector. So, as you can see, this is the whole drawing, and we can really zoom into the graphics and see there's no pixelation. See, we are very close. Okay. So now, what I would do if I didn't know the uh, measurements of the of the scale would be go to Sassel, then I would go to the skateboard again, and here you can see is eight inches and a half. So, I, I have already created um, a template, which is just a Photoshop document with the, um, with the adequate size. So we can go to image, image size, and see, uh, well, it's not uh, the exact measurements because I gave it a little bit of air, so the design fits more nicely. Anyway, just uh, start from the base uh, inch size and start um, modifying the size as you see fit. You will see how this works in a minute. Okay, so I'm going to copy and paste the design. I'm going to make sure there's no locked layers so I can copy all the elements. Then press Command A to select all then press Command C to copy. Then I'll go to Photoshop and press Command V and choose pixels so it will be a lighter document. Smart objects are heavier to their uh, computer's RAM. So I'll just adjust this to the right size. Okay, now I am going to crop Okay, now uh, as you can see we're, we're seeing the, the template at 27% so we can zoom and to to a hundred, and we'll see we have a nice uh, quality. We should not forget that when the design is, uh, I I don't really know why it does that. But when importing uh, Illustrator, uh, Illustrator artwork to Photoshop, sometimes, uh, maybe because I uh, compose my image in, in CMYK and I'm working here in RGB, it, it messes up the, the blacks. So what I'll do is just select the blacks with the, with the one tool and go to image, adjustments, brightness and contrast, and elevate contrast. And I think that's it. Now the black is pure black. Can you see the difference? Okay. So now I'll press Command Shift S to save mm -hmm. us and save this as a PNG file. It is very important to save it as a PNG file because if you save it as a JPEG, for example, it, the file will be much larger and we want to avoid that. We want uh, the smaller file size as possible and the best uh, quality. So that's why we're choosing PNG. So I'll call this Bolter Gate. 
one. And save. Okay. So now I'll go to Sazzle and choose the skateboard. Now it will ask for an image. So we will upload what we just created, the PNG, which is, by the way, very light. And click Make it now. So, as you can see, we have our skateboard. Now we are going to have to save it and post for sale. So I'll call this ball -ter skateboard description. I'll just copy and paste and choose a category and probably digital art and here's the new store And we'll post it. By the way, you will make uh, $6 if you sell this at 30, uh, 63. Uh, but you can adjust the percentage you want from each sale. But I don't uh, advise you to reach out too far from the regular price because otherwise it will be too expensive. So here it is.